What's up guys and girls? So in this video I'm going to show you how I took down two rock breakers and I'm going to be doing guides on all the bigger machines or tutorials at least and the one thing is it's not going to be with the weaver armor because that's, that stuff is just way OP. It takes the intensity out of the battle and I find it a bit pointless unless you really want to use it but I'm going to be using the Nora Protector Heavy with uh, it has standard uh, melee defense and you can put on melee and range defense on that as well as much as you can then know your enemy so his body is weak to freeze but we're not going to go that route what we're going to do is take away his digging ability by his front and left claw and then under his tail or his two back legs and we're going to tear those off so he can't dig and it'll also reduce the amount of tacks that he has to choose from and that sack is one thing that you should go for before or just after you've taken away his digging ability let me just show you where we are quick sticks upper northwest quadrant if you will now you should sneak up as far away as you can from these guys because you can get a sneaky shot off before they notice you but already I'm a notice and I didn't even know because these guys can detect you from ages away or miles away that is so here I got lucky and was managed to get a shot under his back right leg there now there are things I would have done differently after doing this and I'll explain why and how so that sack is your second priority and it wasn't my second priority when I did this I uh, was trying to rope him and if they, if they can go underground you can't rope them well you can but they can just dig and you waste your rope so the first thing you want to do is get rid of that digging ability now, there is one over there that's his back left and if you happen to be new to the game the reason why I keep aiming when I'm far away is because I'm loading arrows into my bow you can load up to three and you should always have the maximum amount you can so there's a foot staring at me fantastic one down He's limping already, which means he cannot go under, I don't think. And that's the attack. When he starts his, when he starts that stance, when he puts his feet on the ground, you just got to run because that uh, volley of rocks can uh, stagger you and can kill you quite easily in one launch. Okay, so still going for his digging ability, although I think he's, yeah, he's limping. So now there's an exhaust on the upper back of his tail, and you can get a lot of damage if you hit all three arrows into that. But at this stage, I should have been going for the sack because that'll take way less damage, or way less arrows at least, and it'll cause massive amount of damage for him. So, tear his digging ability, then go for the sack, and then go for the exhaust on the upper part of the tail. So this guy I'm still trying to get out of his digging, and I think that was it. Nope, he can still go under. So yeah, definitely, see that was one arrow and that was already 350. But yeah, definitely go for the sack first if you can. And if you can't see it, then well, you know, go for the exhaust. But definitely sack second. <laughs> second on the sacks. Now I didn't know I was low on health, but I did right there. Now, these guys have certain tacks when they can't dig anymore, which I'll get into in a second. So now I've got to get his tail as well, or his back leg at least. awesome dodge that was so when he's gearing up for an attack if you roll left roll right right and then roll left again it will confuse him and you can get away from him fairly easily it's all about watching them really okay this guy hasn't or can't dig so I want to try and rope him up turn him on its side and definitely should go for the sack first but I went for that for the exhaust so close yeah definitely kick him in his sack first nice shot there John And he can still dig under the ground if he can still dig while you're busy tying him down. So 
now, if I destroyed the sack, that would probably kill him. As I think I was going for there. That'll take off way more damage than he has now. Destroying the sack. And also with the later monsters, I'm going to do some uh, as many behemoths as I can find at one time. And I'll do the Thunder Jaw, which I've actually already done. I must just upload it. And it makes it so much more fun not having the Weaver armor. Awesome. Because like I said, it's, it takes away the intensity of, of, of having the ability to die. And that is what creates the tension. And it's just so much better. To stock up everything you can and come and fight these fuckers. See, left, right, left. Or in that case, right, left, right. No, it was left, right, left. What am I talking about? Anyway, that's how you get past uh, those attacks, and he has way fewer attacks now that you've taken away his dig ability. So I thought I'd pull a sneaky here, see what I got. I'm looking for ranged and melee defense, and uh, yeah, ranged and melee. See, I don't have no idea why I was trying to do the rope there. Definitely pull out the tear arrows and keep pummeling him with that, because he'll just keep going under. But, as I showed here, you can get him. If you manage to rope him, then he can't dig. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Go for the sack first. It doesn't look like it's taking much damage there, but it doesn't take a lot of shots to blow it up. And you'll see it start to perforate and squirt fire when it's close. Yeah, I've been looking around for guys to do on this because there are just so many up and about now, but I couldn't find any with against these guys and against the larger machines with no weaver armor, so I'm doing this for the majority of the big enemies. All of the big enemies, for that matter. And the small ones, not so much. I think I've caught on around about here that I've got to stop this guy from digging and took out the tear arrows again. He would have been long dead if I just stuck to the tear. But like I said, we learn from this and the next run will be better. So probably now the sack would take almost all that uh, health he's got left there. Ah, he caught me there. See, I should have waited for the last second. And this is funny. I actually get most of his back. Thought I'd go for the rope again. Nope. Pointless. Go for the tear. Maybe I should start a competition and get better and better at this and see how quickly people can do it. So I'm curious. The, the weapons are almost full to the damage, but not to the max. And I'm just wondering if there's modifications we haven't come across here, so, or it'll be a DLC or something like that. Yeah, when he starts that stance again, like I said earlier, just run. I was trying to shoot there, but I learned. Okay, now because he's gliding, it means he can still dig. So we've got to get it. There it is, his back right foot. Flipper. Okay, now he's hurting. And he can still attack you when you're doing that. This should be the end of it. Fatal miss here. But look how much health he's got. And he's toast. Alright guys, that's going to bring us to the end. I hope this guide is uh, informative for you. And you can start taking these guys out without relying on the Weaver armor. And definitely stay tuned for... A lot of the other bigger ones, I'm just going to try and find myself the biggest challenges yet. So remember guys, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, and I'll see you next time.